if I can, uh, it's hey, Christian, can you see, can you see my screen? I can see it, but it's like, you know, zoomed in. Okay. Uh, looks like we're having technical difficulties. Give me one second here. We can go ahead and switch the screen. How about that? Is that better? Better. Perfect. Great. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. So, quick overview. Um, SEP started uh, about 30 years ago as a German-based company. Uh, we were in production automation software, and we were hired by Alcatel and Ikea to write some custom code to back up some of their mission-critical data in some of their warehouses. So. After a while, we realized that product was, was a very quick, easy, efficient product to use. The decision was made to bring that to market. Uh, so they actually split the companies about 20 years ago, and SEP uh, software was, was born. The software was completely rewritten from the ground up two times, uh, once in 1996 and another uh, just after, I think, right after 2001. And about four and a half, five years ago, uh, SCP was brought to the U.S. So fairly new to the U.S. market, uh, but gaining market share very quickly and, uh, and, and growing quickly as well. Wanted to kind of start out with just some basic minimum requirements for, for our software. Uh, the reason that we talk about this is just to kind of highlight how small the product is and how minimal requirements are. Uh, so SEP SEP system is uh, 54 megabytes for the entire product. It's very well written. It's easy uh, to install. We can have an installation complete in about a minute, minute and a half, and then to kind of go through and configure things and get everything, um, you know, set up and configured the way that, that um, we would need for a professional installation. Obviously, add some time to that, but generally within, you know, 40 minutes or so, we can have a, a full backup system up and running, um, you know, at least for a, a, a probably 10 server environment for a little proof of concept or something like that. So um, very easy to install and operate. So what makes SCP different? from our competition. A um, couple things that we really try and focus here on are having one solution for an entire enterprise. So over the years, we've found that a lot of solutions um, really only meet certain needs for customers. And we found out that in the past, our customers have always had to have multiple solutions in place to meet those needs. So they may have one product to back up Windows, something else to back up Linux, something else for virtual technology. And so we really want to bring a product to the table that covers everything so that users can have one console um, to manage their entire infrastructure, whether it be locally or even in remote locations. And we feel we've done a, a very good job with that and, and we're happy to demonstrate that to you guys today. Uh, the other main focus that we had from the beginning was performance. We wanted to deliver a solution that offered the best performance on the market and we feel that we've achieved that with our multi-streaming technology and a lot of the backup windows that we're seeing as you know customers convert over from other software, uh, you know, other backup software to ours, we really see um, amazing speeds uh, and we'll get into that in a minute I'll give a couple examples. Uh, the third thing that we really want to focus on is the reliability. So we have um, created a product that when you get a email notification or the confirmation that a backup job was done successful, you are guaranteed to have that 100% of the time. Um, we've seen with other products, that's not always the case. Sometimes it'll confirm that a backup's been done. You'll go to open the file, and there could be, you know, could be partially missing, or the file could be empty. And so, for us, that's something that, that just simply can't happen. Um, one of the reasons 
that this was very important to us and kind of struck home for us was in Germany, the laws are quite a bit different than in the U.S. So in Germany, if, if a customer or if a company tells another company that they're going to back up their data, they actually become financially responsible for that data. Um, so being that we have you know, one of the second largest banks in Germany as, as our customer, um, one, we wanted to make sure that that data was always there. And two, we have pretty good insurance just in case. Um, but in, in my entire history at this company, I've actually never seen an example of, of data not being exactly where it should have been. And fourth and final, uh, the cost of our software. This is just kind of an extra bonus. Um, we come in at about 40% of industry average, so it's usually very appealing for folks from an ROI standpoint to switch over to our software. Um, very quickly, just wanted to kind of highlight some of the uh, you know more popular um, databases, operating systems, groupware, uh, virtual technology that we support. Um, Probably one of the coolest things about our software is you can install it on Linux, Windows, or Unix. So it does not have to, um, you know, only go on one operating system or be confined to a certain type of hardware. Um, you know, from a hardware standpoint or and a storage standpoint, we can back up to any type of media that is recognized by the operating system. So it's, uh, you know, very heterogeneously targeted and um, you know, very open as far as limitations and, and uh, what you can use it for. Um, to speak to the first concept of, of having a, uh, you know, one solution, one console to manage an entire enterprise, um, the GUI is Java-based, so it can run on um, Linux, Windows, Unix. You can run it on a Mac as well. Um, we try to make it as open as possible so you can access, um, you know, your backups and your server from anywhere imaginable. Um, we have also come up with the double and triple play, and this is just kind of based on the fact that we we see a lot of folks moving, obviously more, you know, a lot more virtual these days. Um, a lot of companies we work with are 100% virtual. Um, but we find that there's generally a mix, just as there's usually a mix with operating systems, there's also usually a mix with physical versus virtual servers, um, and also the cloud infrastructure as well. So we developed the double, triple play to you know, just kind of work with our customers that have uh, physical and virtual, or physical and cloud, or virtual and cloud, you know, any combination of those, um, or all three. So slide eight is basically a quick, uh, just visual representation of a typical uh, network scenario or, or possible network scenario that we would work with, um, and just kind of highlights, you know, visually some of our capabilities. So if you can see uh, box number one is the subsystem server, we can be directly connected to a SAN environment, um, and we can also back up directly to a SAN environment. And, and we call that land-free backup because the data is moving directly over fiber or iSCSI to the SAN. It doesn't have to pass over the local area network, um, which can be, you know, very big performance enhancements um, and can also facilitate 24-7 operations to not experience any, you know, slowdown of the networks or anything like that. Um, in this diagram, you can also see there's virtual clusters and virtual pools that are connected directly to the SAN. We can facilitate those backups also. Uh, we can back up over uh, multiple firewalls. We can also back up to the cloud, um, well, to and from the cloud. Uh, we can migrate data in either direction. And then we can also support uh, remote sites. So whether it be you know a building next door, somewhere across town, or across the you know on the other side of the globe, uh, it's very easy to manage from one console. And we can you know bring that data back to a central location. We can migrate the remote data to a cloud, or we can just uh, back it up to remote storage or any combination of those. Next thing I want to talk about, um, 
I mentioned before is, is our performance. So this is where our multi-stream technology comes into play. And it really makes a huge difference. Um, in this diagram, you can see that there's about nine servers on the left-hand side, all different kinds of operating systems. Um, so traditionally, backup software would start one server, complete a backup, move on to the next server, et cetera. Um, Subseason, with our multi-streaming capabilities, we're able to start multiple jobs and run multiple threads at the same time. And we interweave those threads onto the backup media um, so that, you know, we can maximize the performance and really utilize the, the maximum bandwidth that we have to work with. Uh, here's a couple examples of uh, some folks that, that we work with that are some of our customers that just kind of highlight, you know, a couple of the things that, that we've been talking about, um, you know, the, the one console to manage a lot of locations or to manage an entire enterprise and also the multi-streaming. So uh, Vodafone in, in Europe, um, they're actually the parent company of Verizon and they have us installed about 1,500 stores currently and they're rolling us out to another 4,200 stores, I believe. Um, they're managing everything from a central, central console and, um, and, and having a lot of success with that. The Guardia Seville is basically equivalent to the FBI in Spain, and we back up all, all 450 of their sites around the country. And again, that's managed from a central, um, you know, database um, it, it, that, that they basically have everything connected to. Um, U.S. National Archiving and Record Administration. Uh, just this past summer, we took over their enterprise email system, and with the multi-streaming, we were able to decrease their backups from over six and a half days to just under 11 hours. Um, so pretty significant reduction in backup window for them. Uh, and instead of you know, doing backups consistently all week long, they're able to get full backups nightly. Uh, another example, Port of San Diego. Uh, again, backup times went from over 100 hours to under four hours. And one thing that they were very excited about, um, in addition to that, was their Oracle backups went from over four hours down to about 42 minutes. Um, and that was, I think they have in the neighborhood about 15 database, Oracle databases. So, um, decent amount of information. Aceron is. Um, one of our other customers um, in, in the EMEA region, they are located in Holland. They make all of the um, all the satellites for the European Space Agency. And so their backups went from four and a half days down to four hours using 16 streams of our multi-streaming technology. And there was no other hardware replaced. There really wasn't anything else changed. It was just the multi-streaming that, that allowed that. Um, I'll, I'll just kind of move on from this. The, the last thing I'll mention with T-Systems, they're the European branch of uh, T-Mobile. Um, they are they have one backup job that kicks off. Uh, I believe it's 1,100 servers at the same time. Um, so that's, again, another example of, of the multi-streaming. Okay, moving on. Um, one, one other test that we did that kind of highlights how we stack up to our competition. Um, I, I included this because I think it's a pretty good example. We were invited by uh, the United Nations to do some testing to qualify for a bid uh, with them. And they were requiring everybody that they invited to back up at least 8 million files in under four hours. And so I think I believe 11 companies were invited. Uh, the first completed uh, just over 8 million files. Uh, so And there were four that qualified. So the first one did about 8 million. The second one did just over 10. And the third did over, just over 11. And in that time, we were able to back up over 72 million files. So that's a, a very good example of you know how we stack up to our major competitors and the speed that you can get uh, you know from that. Uh, just some other quick features that we have. Um, again, support any uh, hardware that's recognized by the OS. Uh, we have a very large number of databases and applications that are supported. Um, we have disaster recovery options for Linux and Windows, which we'll touch on in a minute, and um, can install on Windows, Linux, or Unix. We also have archiving capabilities. 
Uh, we have deduplication, which we'll talk about a little bit today as well. Um, and we have uh, remote device capability management as well um, in, in remote locations. Uh, what, so SCP for our cloud server, uh, this is one of our newer offerings and basically we can um, back up, like I said before, to and from the cloud. Um, it's fast, it's reliable, and it's always good to have a set of, you know, an extra set of data in a different location for disaster purposes. So I'm not going to talk too much about this right now. If, if anyone has any questions on these, please uh, let us know and, and we can answer those accordingly. Uh, for our virtual, or sorry, for our uh, bare metal recovery, we have um, two, two products, one for Microsoft and one for Linux. And we have several products for each operating system. Um, on the Linux side, we have a standard edition and then we also have an advanced version. And on uh, the Microsoft side, we have a um, bare metal recovery option for uh, Windows servers and also for Windows workstations. And so all of these products give you basically a bootable image file where you can create a CD from them, which stores all of the information about the server. So you have your partitioning, operating system, uh, configuration, everything. So if one of your servers were to go down, it could be spun up on similar or dissimilar hardware. And you can, you know, with a couple clicks of the mouse, have everything back up and running uh, very quickly. As far as our virtual support goes, uh, we have support for Citrix Zen Server, uh, VMware, Hyper-V, and Open Source Zen. Uh, some cool things that we do that's unique to the Citrix environment um, is we have solved the problem of activation loss. So if any of you guys use Citrix and if you've ever had a VM crash and tried to do a restore, you'll know that you have to re-enter in your um, Windows key code. And, and really any, um, you know, authentication key codes and software license codes for any third-party products that are on that VM. And so we're able to actually bring it back in the exact same state that it was so that you don't have to uh, re-enter those in. And in a situation, you know, like hospital environment or something like that where there's SLA requirements, that can be uh, quite a time saver and, and, and very convenient and, and really help people that, that rely on this on a daily basis. Uh, on the VMware side of things, um, we support uh, VCB and VADP, depending on what version you're running. And on the Microsoft side, it's fully VSS aware. So the way that this works, and, and we'll show you this in the live demo coming up, uh, basically, you know, in a VMware environment, you would just log into the vCenter server, uh, or vSphere server, um, is just authenticate your username and password, and it will go in and auto-populate all your virtual machines. It will show you um, how many hosts you have and which virtual machines are residing on each host. And if those move uh, you know, within the pool from one host to another at any point, we automatically track that. And then basically you can just drag and drop those virtual machines into backup schedules. So it's, it's very easy to use. Um, it's all agent lists for the image level backups, and it's, again, very simple and, and easy to use. Um, just a quick graphic on, on how we complete those uh, backups for the VMs. Uh, we basically just create an LVM snapshot. We mount the snapshot, complete the backup, unmount it, and then delete it. So very simple. Um, like I mentioned, all we need to do uh, this looks like this uh, slide is for Citrix specifically. So in this case, we would just log into the Citrix Zen, Zen server or Zen Center uh, hypervisor, and it would be it would list all of the virtual machines in the entire um, multi-node pool. Uh, I will skip this. Uh, one. So basically, another another really cool feature that we have are um, automatic restores. So you can schedule your virtual machines to complete a backup, and then we can schedule an automatic restore, which will basically provide a warm standby. And so this can be on a you know permanently continual basis. So you're completing backups and then automatically restoring those backups to a different location or to a different um, you know set of servers or, or 
different virtual pool. Um, so you, you can do restores within the pool or two separate pools as well. And when those are scheduled automatically, it just creates a warm standby. So if one VM were to go down, you could spin that up pretty much instantaneously in, in a separate pool. Uh, we fully support Oracle, uh, and we communicate with Oracle using RMAN, so it's all native communication. Um, and one uh, one example, I think it's probably our largest Oracle database that we back up. Uh, we do have one banking customer that has a, a two petabyte Oracle database. Um, so it just goes to show that it works uh, very well, it's very efficient, and um, you know we can we can back up anything from very small. Oracle databases to very large ones. Uh, just a quick graphic about um, you know using RMAN while backing up Oracle. Uh, basically, the the flow of how that works. I'm just going to skip over this. If, if anyone has questions, we can follow up. Uh, we do fully support NetApp environments, um, and we've actually come up with an alternative to NDMP. Um, which is actually quite a bit faster. Um, and we can go into this in more detail if anyone specifically is, is using NetApp and has questions about it, um, you know, please ask. Um, but we do have some alternatives to NDMP working with NetApp that we've found to be about four to six times faster. Uh, so we can greatly improve those backup speeds. Full, ex uh, full support for Exchange. Um, anything after Exchange 2003, uh, everything is uh, VSS aware, um, also DAG, and we get very granular, so we can restore single users, single emails, um, and, and all of that. Full support for MSSQL, uh, point in time restores, VSS aware, uh, there's cross restore functionality and uh, from different databases, which is which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so we've been working with SAP for quite a long time, and we actually have the highest level certification of any third party vendor. Um, so if any of you have SAP environments, um, this is a, a very quick, efficient, and, and reliable solution for those. Um, as far as Novell goes, we fully support all Novell products, everything ranging back to, I believe, Network 3.5 up through OES 11. Uh, full support for GroupWise. Uh, GroupWise, as well as Exchange, um, has the same features and functionality. You can do, you can restore um, single users, single mailboxes, uh, single emails, um, and that also holds, holds true for uh, Lotus Notes as well. So as far as uh, backing up Nobel environments, we communicate directly with the TSAs. So everything is native communication. Uh, we back up eDirectory, iFolder, NSS volumes. We have full backups for trustee rights. And um, you can actually use SEP to help migrate from one operating system to another. So for example, you could do a full backup of Network 6.5 and then do a full restore to OBS 11. Um, all those rights and, and everything will transfer over. One of our newest uh, product releases uh, that we support is for Mac. So we now fully support Mac OS, uh, whether it be servers, desktops, or laptops. Uh, those are all fully supported now. And we talked about it a little bit, but our land-free backup capabilities, um, this is something that can be a huge performance um, and, you know, enhancement and also work really well for 24-hour uh, operations or you know, large enterprise customers that need the fastest backup windows possible um, if trying to backup big data or um, you know, basically this, this can be very helpful in a lot of situations. So. Here's a quick uh, overview of w what that could look like. Um, basically, we can have different SAN environments. We can do land-free backups in multiple SAN environments at the same time, and we can migrate data from you know between those two uh, locations as well. Uh, just a quick short list of some of our uh, technology partners that we work with on a daily basis. And that is pretty much it for the slideshow. So um, I'd like to go through and just answer some questions for a couple minutes. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, please do submit those.